Oh, we're, we're live. Oh, we're live. Oh, 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 smile for me. Oh, yeah, give me a pose. Oh, 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 oh yeah, give me that pose. Can you smile, please? Uh, 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 take it off, take it off, take it oh, off. What is happening? Yeah. Oh, oh, they just for me already. Now my phone is broken. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it is. <laughs> yeah, what, okay, I, I think. Are we live? Oh, I think we're live. Oh, I, think we're, I think people were a little creeped out about what we were just doing. We were filming ourselves filming a live Q and A. This is what we do. We normally film each other before we start this live stream. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's how it goes. That's how it happens. We we forgot we were live. So <laughs> we, we forgot we were live. Yep. Yeah. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Uh, Hold on a sec. Are we, uh, is it all working for you on your end? Yeah, everything's working for me. Is everything working for you? Not really, but let me figure shit out. Is all the comments on your side? Is there lots of comments? On? No, just one from The Rock Conklin. All right, all right. I just want to make sure that we're actually live. <laughs> yeah, we're alive. <laughs> uh, are we live? We are live, yes. Okay, all right. Hold on a sec. See, we are live. We, 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 we're live. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna usually, like, when we're live, I usually get like a shit ton of people at once, and I've never just <laughs> they usually come in, they usually come in like a like you know, a crowd at a rock concert, they just come by in and we yeah. Usually, like, as soon as I hit the live button, like, AA, like 20 people come in at once. So I'm just like, that just okay. That just shows you how many people clicked the post notification squad. They, they, yeah. they click the bell icon so they can be notified when you go live. Mm -hmm. um, imagine if this wasn't a live Q&A, though. It was just an April Fool's joke. Fuck you, bye. <laughs> April Fool's, motherfuckers. Yeah, peace out, bitches. We ain't doing no fucking Q&A. You know, we got five more people or three more people here. Yeah, all right, we'll just say April Fools. It is April Fools. That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. Bye. That's the Q&A. <laughs> Hello, Harvey. Hailstone. Are you in a different room, Ryan? I am, yes, for tonight. Uh, a video is being edited as we speak. It's my autobiography of my life. Oh, that's just boring. <laughs> <laughs> um, my monster burst ranking because I just saw a movie involving an ape and a, a monkey and a lizard. So that ranking is interesting, 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 interesting. Um, good question. It's a very good question. A lot of layers to that question, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Yo, what's up? Uh, there aren't a lot of people. No, they're not. It's getting weird. I don't know what's happening. This is the first time ever there's not a lot of people here. Yeah, either people are sleeping or they're going to see Godzilla versus Khan again. Or they're, jacking, or they're jacking off. They better be jacking off. Like This is nuts. It's crazy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like Literally, the last Q&A I did with Lindsay, literally when I logged right in, 28 people were already there, like waiting. I'm like, interesting. interesting. Yeah. Have you guys seen Super Bad? Never heard of it. Never heard of that movie. I've heard it's super good, though. Oh. That's a good movie. Oh. Uh, I don't know what we do now, Ryan. I don't know what we do now. What do we do, man? I don't know. We just, uh, <laughs> oh, but yeah, yeah, that's funny. All your subs pranked you, no one shut up. <laughs> <laughs> they all can get fucked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, all your subs pranked you. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, how would you rate King Kong versus Godzilla? What would I you gave, rate it, Ron? I gave it a B. I gave it a B for bitch. Bitch? Mm -hmm. Bitch? Bitch. Uh, yeah, it's like a six point five. Yeah, it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, do you know the lost IMAX film Cyber World? I have the poster for it. 
now. <laughs> uh, Blade Runner, Blade Runner 2049. Okay, this is where we, you know, you Jay usually, Jay, we usually agree most of the time, right? Yes. Sometimes yes. we have our differences, and this is we do. We do. I, this is like Team Khan or Team Godzilla. I am Team Blade Runner 2049. Get out of here. <laughs> Blade Runner is my favorite film of all time. So, of course, I go with Blade Runner, the original. But but I love 2049. Like, that's, that's I mean, like choosing between Terminator, Terminator 2, or Alien or Aliens. Or Endgame. So, I mean, there's no right or wrong answer. Yes. Just my answer is the right answer. <laughs> no, mine's the right answer. Come on. <laughs> Team 2049. Can you do a top 10 favorite countries? Countries. That's a weird one. Counties or countries. Counties. I think counties. you said counties. What? Counties or let's say let's just say countries or counties or whatever places. How am I supposed to do my favorite countries if I haven't been to all of them? It's very hard yeah, to do. I can't give my opinion on something I've never been to. If I it was a traveler and I traveled a lot, then yeah, yeah. I could do that, but I've not traveled to a shit ton of places, so maybe in the future if I've traveled a lot, but... Yeah, I've never traveled outside the U.S. I've been to Florida at Disney. Besides that, no, nothing really. I've never been to Disney. Why are you rubbing that in my face? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sharing with the people where I've been, you know? Oh my god, dude. Bro. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Malcolm and Marie? Oh, yeah. You, you didn't do, do a review for this one, did you? No. I've never even seen it. Oh, it's on Netflix. Okay. Is it good? I liked it. It definitely got a lot of mixed reactions. A lot of people didn't like it, but I liked it. I really did. Uh, Zendaya and John White. <sighs> Zendaya and John David Washington. It's really okay. good. Okay. Right. Well, they're good actors. Mm-hmm. Favorite film of 2021? Okay. Uh, rating for Batman Forever and Supergirl 1984. Haven't seen Supergirl, but I've seen Batman Forever, and that's a piece of shit. I guess half. Yeah, Batman Forever is like a 3 out of 10. Supergirl is like a 2. It's a shitty movie. All right, now we're getting a couple people. Thank God. I'm back with a vengeance. Uh, no, nah, just kidding. Oh, you jackass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tenet is my favorite movie of 2012. 20. Mm, interesting. I'm going to guess you saw only 10 movies, David, 2000. That's my guess. Uh, I don't know. I think. Let me know in the comments below. Minari's the best movie of 2020. Um, yeah. Minari would be my favorite film as well. April Fool's. Is that where everybody is? <laughs> yeah, everybody. We, I, we just feel like everyone's pranking us right now by not showing up. I'm just going to stare at the screen until that number hits to 20. I, I thought of the April Fool's joke to do on you, Jay. It was either just stare at you the whole stream or just say, I can't do this. I'm done with YouTube. I'm done. Oh, make a video. Make a video that's like, about. That's like the most cliche thing to do to say I'm done with you too. You know, yeah. even make it original. Could you imagine though if you actually wanted to quit YouTube, but you quit YouTube on April first, and you're yeah. making a video quitting YouTube, and I was like, oh, he's just kidding. <laughs> and, no, he just never, <laughs> and then he never shows up again. Like, oh, maybe he wasn't kidding. That asshole, <laughs> jerk. Oh my god. You didn't even let your subscribers know, you douche. <laughs> you asshole. Batman the animated series or Superman the animated series? Batman. I haven't seen either. I'm not a TV junkie. Well, get on it, Ryan. Jesus. I know the animated series for Batman is like considered one of the greatest TV series ever. So. Ryan, you're out of control. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on drugs, pretty much. <laughs> I'm with you. I like Blade Runner 249 more than... How much, you know did, you, how much did you pay it's him to say that? They, they, they clearly, uh, they, they like to, you know, go for more the more recency bias, would you say? No, he was paid by you, Ryan. I know it. I know it. <laughs> yeah, I paid Walter $500 to save my earners. I knew it. I told you. I knew it. 
<laughs> hello, hello, Christian. Bobby Yoda or Grogu. Bobby Yo- Grogu. Grogu. Uh, my roommates are watching The Last Blockbuster on Netflix. Yeah, great documentary. I loved it. It was one of my favorites. Oh, that's a Netflix thing I haven't seen. Yeah, I watched that a while ago, but it was a great movie. Oh, okay. uh, Atlantis or Titan AE? Both underrated. I like them both. Uh, I might actually go Titan AE. Have you seen any, any of these? Is the, are these anime or are these series? Atlantis is a Disney film. Atlantis, The Lost Empire. Oh, Atlantis, yeah. Yeah, I like Atlanta's Lost Empire. And Titan AE is an animated film. Uh, I forget what come. Oh, I'm sorry, I forget who made it. I think it was Fox actually that made Fox? it. Yeah. But so yeah. I think it's, it's yeah. Atlanta's Lost Empire is fantastic. Like so that. are Logan. Both I'm, great. I'm going Logan. I I think Logan's the better movie. If you go on my favorite comic book movies of all time, Logan's number two. Behind the Dark Knight, but Civil War is definitely up there, man. It's definitely in my top ten. I actually prefer Winter Soldier slightly more than Civil War. Interesting. Uh, I might go Logan as well, even though Civil War is one of my favorites. How would you rate movies like Crimson Tide, Phone Booth Spy, Date Night, and The Breadwinner? Have you? Which ones have you seen? I have not seen Breadwinner. I have not seen Phone Booth. Is that the one with Colin Farrell? Yes. I've heard of it. I haven't seen that one. It's good. I've, yeah. I've only seen Spy. I actually really like Spy, Jason Statham, Melissa McCarthy, one of the best Melissa McCarthy movies. I'd give that one an A minus. I really enjoy it. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, I've seen all of them. Out of all these, my favorite is Crimson Tide. That's a great movie. Denzel Washington. It's a great movie. Yeah, Crimson Tide. That's a Denzel movie I got to see. Uh, my favorite movie of 2020 was Artemis Fowl. I think he's kidding. But... What if he just says, no, I'm dead serious? <laughs> uh, Seth Rogen or Kevin James? I guess Seth Rogen. Yeah, Seth Rogen. Yeah, Seth Rogen. Yeah. April Fool! <laughs> what are your thoughts on The Devil All the Time? I liked it. I thought it was enjoyable. I never did a review on it, but I, I liked it. It's like a 7.8 out of 10. I, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a good movie. Uh, Tom Holland gives his second best performance I have ever seen. You know what number one is? Spider Man. No, Cherry's definitely Tom Holland's best performance. Um, uh, Devil all the time. Robert Pattinson, who plays a really effed up drunk uh, priest. Delusions. <laughs> yeah, so I, I I like the Devil all the time. April Fools. Everyone's saying April Fools. I think they're all fucking with us, right? They're yeah, fucking. they're all fucking with us tonight, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what is up or what is down. Together and they plan this. Like, what's all with Ryan and Jay tonight? <laughs> Cats chase dogs. Mass hysteria. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the future or Jaws? Oh, two of the icon classic of the classics. I think well, you're going to be biased and go with Back to the Future. I would go Back to the Future. You know, I love Jaws. I love I Back to the Future as well. Yeah, it like this much. They're both like 10 out of 10s, but... Yeah, I rewatch both every single year, but what mm-hmm. do I go back to more? Back to the Future. Yeah, it's got everything. Action, comedy, romance, sci-fi. It's got it all. <laughs> yeah, it's got Christopher Lloyd and... Um, uh, I'm blanking on Michael J. Fox. Just, you can't beat it. Kick-ass soundtrack, too. What a kick-ass soundtrack. Phenomenal. It's the power of love. Yes. Uh it was really soul. Yeah, I yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> Why can't the Godzilla movies do humans well? That is a great question. <laughs> Why can't they do humans well? <laughs> because I think they know what the fans want. They want kaiju battles, but yeah. with the two Godzilla films, uh 2014 and King of the Monsters. It feels like they wanted to try to focus on the human more, and they completely failed. I liked Brian Cranston, but it's just because Brian, it's Brian Cranston. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking Brian Cranston. Also. He can do anything. It's by that. It has nothing to do with his character. It's just Brian Cranston. <laughs> the yeah, scene with him uh, talking to that one guy. He's like, "My wife yeah. died here." That was like he was going full out Heisenberg. You, you don't fuck with Heisenberg, okay? Like. And every other human besides that is either a very robotic, bland exposition machine. Mm-hmm. 
Ghostbusters or Forrest Gump? Ghostbusters. Two more classics. Jeez. Um, Ghostbusters. Forrest Gump. Interesting. Um, I saw myself and I was running. Run, Ryan, run. <laughs> but Ghostbusters is really good, too. I definitely got to revisit it before Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah. Ooh, how would you rate Castaway? That's a good movie. 8.5. Great movie. I like that movie. Out of Tom Hanks' films, definitely his most little overrated film probably is Castaway for me. Wilson! Well, I'm sorry, Wilson! Sorry, Wilson. That was probably the best scene in the movie. I give Castaway a B or a B plus. Um, it's not one of my favorite Tom Hanks films, but it's good. Don't ever watch the trailer for that. <laughs> yeah, don't ever watch the trailer for that. Show. Don't ever watch that trailer. Most overrated Disney movie. <coughs> Ryan O'Toole. <laughs> uh, the Lion King. April Fools. <laughs> um. Yeah, um, I'm not gonna go Frozen because that's like the most obvious pick I'd go with. Um, I'm gonna go with Ralph breaks the internet. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's a pretty bad sequel. Now that I think about it, it's got like an 88 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. I keep Rotten Tomatoes snorting up the Disney Coke train. Yeah. Um, For me, I, 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 I this is me personally. Uh, I don't hate this movie, but I just don't love it like everyone else is Hercules. I don't love it. Uh, I just don't love it. Like I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I love James Woods as Hades. I think he's a great villain in that movie. But uh, I just I don't love it like a lot of people do. I just don't I don't get it. So personally, I enjoy it when I visit it, but I don't rewatch it a lot. Did you see the South Park episode? They parried heavy metal. I love that film. I've um. I don't watch South Park. Uh, yeah, me neither. Uh, I have seen some South Park jokes that are very funny. Like I've seen some like clips that are very very funny. Some people send me like South Park clips, and they're very 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 funny. But uh, I don't watch South Park. Yeah. yeah, me neither. After one episode, my mom's like shut it off, and I never got back to revisiting it. You shut that crap off. <laughs> <laughs> shut that crap off. Great for Dumb and Dumber and Dumb and Dumber Two. Oh my god. I love Dumb and Dumber. The first Dumb and Dumber was funny as shit. Uh, second one is trash. <laughs> yeah, Dumb and Dumber one is an absolute classic. Um, that's Dumb like a for me. That's like a nine out of ten. I love that. I laugh my ass off every time. I fucking that's love like that movie. A. That's like an A. It's like one of the best comedies. The Dumb and Dumber two was a negative F minus. Ugh, yeah, that's, that's like a two out of ten. Ugh, that that's trash. That's a bad movie. Ugh, that's so fucking stupid. Uh, all right. Oh, 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 all right. So, Gandhi, Straight Out of Compton, American Gangster, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and Trainwreck. So, the only one I haven't seen is Gandhi. I know uh, the great Richard Attenborough directed it. Um, um, Straight Out of Compton. I really like that movie a that's lot. That's a good movie. Very great. Fantastic director. That's I, an 8.8. 8.8. 8. an A minus. I really liked it. When American Gangster. It. Good movie. I, I like that movie. Too. Yanker, Ridley Scott, Denzel Washington. One of his more underrated movies. Definitely an A minus. Eight out of ten. Yeah. Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. I enjoyed it. I isn't stuck with me, but yeah. I enjoyed it. I'd probably give it a C plus. It's yeah, kind of it's like a it's like a six point five. Trainwreck. Okay, I'll say the thing about Trainwreck. I got I, there's a few things I gotta say about that movie. Okay. When I first saw that movie, I thought it was laugh out loud hilarious. It does not have that well that same feeling when you watch it again and again. It that really does bad. not. Oh, okay. It gets less and less funny the more times you watch it because I don't know <clears> just, <throat> something about it. It just it doesn't. The only thing that's really funny in that movie is John oh, Cena. John Cena is the funniest. Yeah, John Cena is pretty good. I actually like LeBron the most in that. LeBron, Pardon? LeBron James. Oh, LeBron James. Oh, okay, yeah. Is yeah. something about John Cena in that movie in that. He's clearly gay, but he just doesn't like everything he says is the most homoerotic things, and he just is not. He doesn't know that he's gay. It's so funny. It's very funny, but every other joke in that movie is not funny. Then when I first saw it, I thought it was very funny, but like it does not have that. It doesn't have that like uh, rewatchability, and it doesn't have those doesn't have those jokes that stand the test in time. Like it's not that great. 
Yeah. Speaking of LeBron, where's that Space Jam 2 trailer? I need Oh, that. boy. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't, don't get me on Space Jam movies. Yeah, oh. Space Jam Legacy, uh, man. Yeah. Oh, God. Which movie are you excited for? Black Widow, Shang-Chi, Eternals, or No Way Home? Which one are you most excited for? Eternals. Eat. Ah! Ah! It's Godzilla. He's going to kill me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> get out, get out. Godzilla, he was going to kill me. <laughs> get out, get out, Ryan. Get out. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm Eternals. I'm gonna go Shang Shang Chi or Shang Chi. I really Shang never say I never say it right. Shang Chi. Yeah. Shang Chi. I never. I can't say anything right now. Uh, okay. Eternals. Eternals for one reason. Chloe Zhao. No, never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need that trailer ASAP. Uh, you guys thought I was going Spider Man No Way Home. I'm actually going Eternals. Interesting. Mm hmm. <laughs> Uh, what are your thoughts on the Mario movie in 2022 made by Illumination? Oh, God. Is this a thing? Uh, is it? I don't know. I <laughs> hope not. Is this <laughs> April Fool's joke? Don't fuck with me. <laughs> don't yeah, do that. Uh, it, it was, show us your facts. Don't do or else this. I'm going to say April Fool's. <laughs> Jerry O'Connor should have got more Oscar nomination. It only got one screenplay. That's it, right? Yeah. Uh, Jason Mitchell should have been nominated for uh, playing Easy. -E. I think he should have been nominated. Corey Brooks should have got nominated. Uh, I should have got nominated. I'm in that movie. Right, cool. Uh, Roll Breaks the Internet is good, but not great. It, it's not that great, actually. Not great after thinking about it. Um, yeah. Uh, the funny thing is, I, I wanted him to do more video games, but no. They they just... the internet, they find Gal Gadot's world. Uh, a new dark sugar rush. And Real Price nice. the Internet is literally just a slightly better emoji movie. It's just a little better, though. <laughs> it doesn't wreck it a lot. Ralph, you should have wrecked it a lot. And yeah. you did. Emperor's New Groove or Atlantis Lost Empire? Oh, Emperor's New Groove. That's Yzma. a funny movie. Yzma, Yzma and Kronk are the best oh, in that Yzma. movie. <laughs> Uh, Castaway's my favorite. Wilson! Oh, Wilson! <laughs> uh, what is your grade for coming to America and coming to America? Oh, my God. <laughs> coming to America, the first one, is an 8.8. .8. Coming to America is like a 4 out of 10. D minus. Hated it so much. The more, uh, I, it, the more I hate it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What do you think about Luca coming out only in Disney Plus? Bullshit. What the fuck? <laughs> Come on. I don't care if Soul Gift released only on Disney Plus. Luca is it's Pixar. I think it'll do really well. I mean, look how I mean, look how well Riot did in theaters and on Disney yeah. Plus. So there's no exception. Come on. You tell them, Ryan. Go to Disney, Ryan, and beat them up. Come here! Uh, get over here! Get over here. <laughs> uh, me coming to America, 10 out of 10. Coming to America, 1 out of 10. Wow. Yeah, it's a bad sequel. Thoughts on Isaac Gonzalez being Hot Girl and Shazam 2. This was yesterday, so no April Fools. Okay. Wait, where's your source for this? If it is true, I that's fine. But if it is, if it isn't, then you best. Yeah. Deadlines uh, discussing film. Variety reported this. Um, then, yeah. I actually don't mind Isaac Gonzalez. Uh, I don't know her for, from a lot of things like Godzilla versus Kong. Uh, Baby she's, Driver. She's probably the worst part about Godzilla versus Kong. She's in Baby Driver. I, I, I don't mind her. I don't mind her in that. But uh, eh. she's in uh, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. Hoops and Troops. Yeah. Uh, how would you rate Amer American World from London, Heavy Metal, and The Abyss? Uh, American World from London is a great fucking movie. It's a nine nine point two out of ten. Heavy Metal is a five out of ten. The Abyss is a eight out of ten. Have you seen any of those, Ryan? I have not seen either of them, but I don't see. It's just rumors, apparently. Just rumors, yeah. yeah. It's all speculation. Yeah, we need the official word. It's like my name is Jay Vader's. That's did you, hear, uh, did you hear Pierce Brosnan is playing Doctor Fate 
in Black Adam. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Is that a rumor too? Or no, is that's that... no, that's official. That's but a fact. Helen, okay. Helen Mirren got cast as the villain in Shazam: Fury of the Gods. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rating for Mary Poppins and Mary Poppins Returns. I actually like both. Mary Poppins is my favorite live action Disney film, though. The very original. That's a 10 out of 10 for me. Yeah, Mary Poppins is an A+. plus. It's a classic. Mary Poppins Returns an A-. minus. So yeah, to- I like both movies. They're both great. Uh, anyways, uh, do you have a favorite uh, Ralph Baskey movie? Yeah, he did like the animated Lord of the Rings movies and stuff. Uh, I've only seen the original trilogy. Uh, I've seen the animated Lord of the Rings movies. It's okay, but uh, nothing... Nothing compared to the Peter Jackson trilogy. How old were you both when you got your licenses? Licenses, licenses, licenses. Um, license. I got mine. So, hang on. Sorry, twenty twenty-two. So, yeah, twenty-two. That's when I got. Note to self, though. Doing this, you're going to kill someone. <laughs> I, 20. For me. 20? Uh, for me, First Frozen, Original Dumbo, Robin Hood, Original Lion King are all overrated. Oh, wow. I hope that Lion King is an April Fool's, Walter. <laughs> wow. I think I remember him saying that. Wow. <laughs> if wow. Angels with Filthy Souls exist, it would be my favorite movie. Yes. 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 The change of filthy animal. That needs to be a movie. It's the greatest. It should have been a movie. <laughs> Dad on your knees and tell me. Tell me about it. <laughs> now he'll probably make a movie out of that very soon. I love it. Worst thing ever. <laughs> I love it. It's the best fake movie ever. It's so good. I love it. Yeah. Uh, hello, Cody. Is he here? <laughs> <laughs> He's Godzilla. <laughs> Grades for for Bustle Dawn and Broken Arrow. Broken Arrow is a B minus. It's a really cheesy movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> from Dusk Till Dawn, oh, uh, Robert Rodriguez. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't seen it. I haven't got into the Rodriguez. Grindhouse era. So, no. Russell Dodd's a great movie. Eight out of ten. Russell <laughs> Arrow is a six. A, th- a lot of throwback dude movies he just put there. Mm-hmm. Oh, call me why so. <laughs> <laughs> what a story, Mark. <laughs> Are you excited for Suicide Squad? I am. <laughs> Are you excited for Suicide Squad? Really? What? Watch the trailer for Suicide Squad? Yeah, I watched it. It looks pretty cool. And sorry, that's my impression of King Shark, Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Adrian, I'm a shark. King Shark, dude. Nom nom. Um, I'm very excited for Suicide Squad, dude. I can't wait for that movie. It's gonna be so good. It it better be. It better be. It better uh, be. Rating for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Oh, it's such a stupid movie. The I, ninth... I, mean, I haven't seen it. I don't oh. see it. <laughs> yeah. You got John Leguizano, Bob Hoskins, it, 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 Dennis Hopper as Dennis Koopa. Hopper. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Oh. It's the definition of a one out of ten movie. It's fucking yeah. dead. Am I the only one that hates my neighbor Totoro? Uh, Hate is a strong word. I don't think it's a pro- uh, the studio Ghibli. Yeah, uh, I I actually agree. It is one of the weaker uh, Ghibli films, but I don't. I wouldn't hate it. I I, I don't hate it. No, not great. Mm-hmm. I declare. I declare, I declare bankruptcy. bankruptcy. <laughs> Michael Scott, what's up, Michael? <laughs> Uh, no, for, a sec- for a second there, I actually thought he was declared bankers. So I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Michael Scott, man. How you doing? Uh, <laughs> like, Steve Carell is watching us right now. <laughs> I probably won't give you all my grades, but I'll say my favorites. Without including Logan, my favorite X-Men movie is First Class, and my least favorite is Last Stand. I've, I've done a lot of X-Men ranking videos, so... Um, <laughs> I th- I'll just say my favorite and least favorite. Definitely Logan is my favorite, and then yeah. the least favorite. It's a wol- it's a Wolverine in his origins. So. Yeah. 
I actually like the Wolverine. I think it's underrated. I like it. Yeah. I actually really love the first X-Men. I think that's probably my most underrated X-Men movie. Rogue's butt X-Men. I love X-Men animated series. That's a great show. I grew up with that shit. What? Wow. Coming to America didn't need it. Coming to America didn't need it. Yeah, it didn't need to see. It, it's a per it's a fucking great movie. You don't need one. Uh I'm really? hoping that we get Wreck It Roll 3, and I want to see Adventures of if they make a third one, make it about video games. That's what I wanted, and they didn't do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they didn't do it. They just made an emoji movie. I thought I thought because, you know, in the first one, like, Sonic's in it and everything. I thought, like, the sequel, they'd bring Mario and all these fucking cool characters. But well, they didn't bring do new video game characters, like a like an Ellie and Joel or something. Like, like do something. Games. Like, I don't know. Like, or they, like um, Ralph could have gone to, like, a zombie video game. And, like, there's so many things he could have done. Maybe, like, maybe he goes into a Rocket League. and like They can go into so Fortnite now. Like, like oh, my. There's so many things they could do, and it could be hilarious, but they didn't do it. Well, the last of them, like, it could have been so awesome. When they they, there's a lot of jokes they could have made, but they're like, no, we'll, we're Disney, so we'll just put Disney stuff. Like, I don't want to see that. The last of us, that's, that's not Disney. It's not family friendly. <laughs> I felt like Daniel Craig would be a great doctor. Yeah, Daniel Craig. That'd be I'd cool. Or to Pierce Brosnan and stuff. Do you like gorillas? <laughs> Ryan, do you like gorillas? I love gorillas. As you can <laughs> <laughs> Team Kong, baby. <laughs> oh, The Money Pit. Best comedy ever. It yeah, is a good movie. It's a movie. Great comedy right there. That is a funny one. I like that movie. It's Tom Hanks, man. Which cartoon character is more attractive? Marge Simpson or Holly? Wood from Cool World. I don't like anything from Cool World. I'd say March Simpson. Or March Simpson. Yeah. Uh, I'm so looking for Freaky, uh, King of Staten Island, Palm Springs. That was those on Blu-ray. Actually, uh, they're all good movies. They're actually I actually, gotta get Palm Springs on Blu-ray. Yeah. Uh, I loved Bad Boys for Life for some reason. I just I loved that film. That was kick ass. Was really good scene. I, I'm shocked how much I liked it. I also really like King of Staten Island, too. That's a good one, too. What is your favorite corn song? Mine is Blind. Mine is uh, Alone I Break. I'll go with that one, even though I don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> Ever played uh, Rayman 1995? Yes, very hard platforming. Yeah, Angels with Phil. Sh yes. Another one. Another one person. Agrees. Agrees. Yeah. Make it happen. Make this movie. If they were to do that this year, like this time, um, who would direct it? I'd like to see David Fincher direct that. David Fincher or like a Martin Scorsese or something. And then <laughs> like fucking Joel, Joe Pesci to play. I mean, get on your knees and tell okay. me. You know. I can say like a Scorsese because it looks, it kind of looks like a mob movie. Like, like <laughs> directed by and Robert De Niro or something. Yeah. Movie. Get down on your knees or and I'll, tell me. You know, Al Pacino, they get on your fucking knees and tell me you fucking love me. You were smooching with my brother. <laughs> you uh, fucking fuck sucker. What is it? This is interesting. What is a movie that should get a remake? Should. Well, we you would say Mortal Kombat, but that already got a remake. It's getting it, yeah. Um, Which is good. That's what I wanted. Get over here. Um, what would I go with? Um, I, I actually. Said, yeah, said it many times before the last airbender i think that deserves another shot and with someone that actually knows the goddamn source material yeah another one i actually think they should remake is jumper have you seen that movie with hayden christensen i haven't no. it's a it's not a good movie but it has a cool idea and i think they can remake that into something much better uh, i think uh, jumper is not a good movie but it has some cool ideas like if if they had a better cast, and Doug Lyman directed it, he's a good director, but I don't know. Just I think it was a shitty script, and it was a shitty casting. Like it was, yeah. But, oh, yeah, yeah. Thoughts on Martyrs? That is a fucking disgusting movie. <coughs> don't, don't watch it. Don't watch it. It's really oh, nasty. Oh, I won't. <laughs> it's torture porn. That's literally what it is. Guys, I'm not kidding with my overrated Disney comment. So you hate Lion King? Wow. Look at my face. Look at my face. 
<laughs> oh, oh, oh. It's fine. <laughs> Hashtag restore the Snyderverse. Yeah. Uh, that was a good movie. Justice League. That was a great movie, man. Justice League's fucking kick ass, bro. I was legit shocked of how much I loved it. It was really fucking good. Everything. It was so fucking good. Uh, restore the Snyderverse. Everything. Did you see the new uh, Mountain Dew commercial for Gremlins? No, I did not. No, I did, actually. That was a funny one. That was a funny commercial. Oh, Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Oh, family, yeah. <laughs> family Guy. Roadhouse. All I just do is quote Family Guy. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> I would have. <laughs> no, oh my Very God. silly movie. Swayze kicking people. It's like a six oh, out of ten. The Charlie and Lucy. Wow. Roadhouse. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> Thoughts on The Rock playing Black Adam. The thing is, they cast The Rock as Black Adam since 2014. Mm. And we have yet to see an official trailer or the movie. The movie got an official release date now, July of next year, and it's just there's been a lot of hype around the movie, but we haven't seen anything from it. All we know is that Noah Centineo from the freaking uh, To All the Boys I Love You Netflix romance movies is playing um, Adam Smasher, and he's been getting physically fit for the role. Have you seen those movies? The To All the Boys movies? I haven't seen any of them. Yeah, I mean, he's playing Adam Smasher, and Pierce Brosnan's playing Doctor Fate. I think, um, what's his name from One Night in Miami? Aldous Hodge. He's playing. Uh, someone let me know in the comments. But the 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 main all these castings, and we haven't yet to see any big trailer for him. So. True, true. Logan is my favorite in Dark Phoenix. Yeah, Dark Phoenix. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite moment in Zack Snyder's Justice League? Mine is Flash going back in time. You just stole mine. <laughs> but actually, I do have one. It's Superman getting the black suit, hearing the voices of Jor-El and Kevin Costner in his head. Son Clark, we love you. And always know, be the hero they want you to be. And then Superman just flies up. The score is playing from Man of Steel. And he's just looking up from... He's looking at the sun and the earth. That that's my favorite moment. Like everything, Superman when he's freaking wiping Steppenwolf clean. That was just fucking awesome. My favorite is the ending when it's this apocalyptic world and they have Jared's Joker and and like oh, Superman's evil. Scene. That <laughs> is this Batman's just like I swear to God I will fucking kill you. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Oh, it, it when Superman gets hit by Steppenwolf's axe and he's like, not impressed. That scene is the best. <laughs> yeah. It's the best scene and also the worst scene because it just showed us what could happen and now we're pissed off. Yeah, <laughs> no, like, no. Here's, here's what they did. Ross Whedon thought, well, the thought of something better. Have Superman come back from the dead and say, no, I believe in truth. But I also am a big fan of justice. But you 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 you, you completely contradict yourself, Joss Whedon. Like everything you did from Zack Snyder's vision was com you made it completely worse. Like why would you take a masterpiece or a really great Snyder cut and make it even worse? Like yeah, I there's a line. Okay, in the Joss Whedon version, there's a line of dialogue that is so cringy. And it's almost the same in the Snyder version, but it works better and it makes sense. It's the scene where Clark, it was Superman is back. And in the Joss Whedon version, uh, Lois is like, you smell good. And he's like, did I not before? Did I not before? But in this version, she's like, oh, you talked. And he's like, oh, did I not before? That's yeah, a changed it. Yeah. That makes sense. And it's kind of funny. But the, the Joss Whedon version was just creepy and weird. Oh, it you just smell, smell good. I'm like, what? <laughs> just threw in awkward comedy from left yeah. to right. The the Aquaman when he's sitting on the lasso of truth, like that was completely cut. Like yeah. they, they like I'm just baffled of how Warner Brothers and Joss Whedon thought of better scenes compared to Snyder's vision. Like I'm just baffled. I'm baffled that they made Steppenwolf interesting. <laughs> I'm yeah, baffled they made Steppenwolf an interesting villain. 
he was the worst villain I've ever seen in a comic book movie. He was so bad. I'm like, this is the shittiest villain ever. But now he's kind of cool. I'm like, okay. He's chopping heads him. off and like, what the fuck? <laughs> he has, he has, I feel bad for him. I, I he just wants to get back home. That's all he wants to do. Yeah, that that was yeah. Joss Whedon ruined I that. Heard right? Before Zack Snyder's Justice League makes the Whedon cut of Justice League look like the Last Airbender. Yeah. Uh, Faulty Towers of the Chappelle Show. Chappelle Show. Chappelle Show. Chappelle Show. Yeah. Logan is my favorite. Yeah. Yeah. I think people can uh, agree with that one. I've read the Transformers movie comics and comparing them to the blah, 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 blah. Better than the actual first three comics. It's supposed to be the State of the Trilogy. Yeah. Well, uh, <sighs> I don't know though those movies that what Michael Bay did. I just I hate them. Can't stand them. Just I can't stand them either. Like the whole agenda for Michael Bay was to just to take his formula and throw it into Transformers. Hey, you like hot women? Let's throw Megan Fox in there. And, you, you like yeah. military subplots? Let's just throw in like scenes of like ripped dudes yeah. wearing military gear, helicopters going slow mo, and the Transformers making poop and pee jokes. Yeah, and the CJ is so bad. I don't know what's going on in the oh, action. I, I, the, the, when the robots are fighting, I don't know what I'm looking at. I'm like, what's happening? I can't the see. The highway what... sequence on, in Revenge of the Fallen, mm -hmm. it looks so bad. Like, yeah. It has, like, rollerblades. It's like, chicka, 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 chicka. like, the CGI looks so awful. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and when we see him with Bumblebee, you can make a good Transformers movie. You really and that can. Bumblebee movie with Haley Steinfeld, it literally took everything that was wrong with the Michael Bay verse and made it s grounded. It was so good. Like, it was a legit. It was good. I really liked it. It was just a legit coming of age movie. Favorite scene from The Dark Knight. Ooh. Interrogation uh, scene. Interrogation scene. We both have the same one. Um, if I were to go with a different one besides the interrogation scene, probably. The last scene where Batman catches Joker and he says the iconic line, this is what happens when an unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Mm -hmm. He just gives this whole monologue about his ace in the hole, Harvey Dent, like iconic. Heath Ledger, rest in peace. Jay Bears, will you do a ranking of all the DC DCAMU movies from worst to best? What is DCAMU? <laughs> oh, the DC animated movie universe? Oh! I haven't seen all of them, but I've seen a lot. Maybe. I, 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 I think he also said the DCU ranking from Snyder Cut? Maybe. Oh. Maybe. I, I need to see more. To, to yeah, we're still, we're still getting Suicide Squad and three other DC movies next year. So I watched a review recently, Crash 2004. You reviewed from a deep. She says it's underrated. I, 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 I'm just not a Crash fan. I don't like that movie. I hate that it beat Brokeback Mountain. Speaking yeah. of <laughs> uh, both Brokeback Mountain and Good Night and Good Luck are better films, so I don't know why they didn't win. So the second Recorel felt like it tried to appeal to the modern. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Ryan, why do you like Last of Us 2? <laughs> I've never played it. Never played it. My brother played it. He loves it. Who will win the fight? Dark side or Thanos? Uh, this, okay, okay. Okay. Does this Thanos is have the gauntlet or not? Um does he have, if he doesn't have the gauntlet, then Dark Side. Next to Dark Side. I'd say he would need the gauntlet against Dark Side. Yeah. Um, if so, he doesn't have the gauntlet, he loses. If he has the gauntlet, he has a good chance of probably beating him. Now I'm not a comics expert, so you could probably in the comments let me know comics wise who would win. I know. Thanos freezes Thor with a gauntlet and breaks him at like glass or something. Right. Um, but from the movie wise, definitely Thanos. Like they made him the most compelling villain ever, ever. Yeah. And Dark Side, what we saw in Zack Snyder's Justice League, he looks really tall, menacing with a purpose. He but could be cool, cool, but we we are not going to get him. I want no. I want to know more about him. I don't want to know more about him. Um, but battle wise, I think. Looks dark side would definitely win that fight. Yeah, I, I'd say dark side if he has no gauntlet, but if he what has a gauntlet. One yeah. nightmare sequence. Like he controlled Superman and made him evil, and he has Batman's head and his mask, and then he kills Lois Lane. Oh, this is spoilers, by the way, for the Snyder Cut. I want to know. Uh, 
Please make more of these movies. I want to know what I want to know what's going on. Restore the Snyderverse. Give him back the. I never thought I'd say this, but give Zack Snyder back the movies. Like make I never thought movies. I'd say that. Make movies make a Batman solo movie with Bad Black. Make Man of Fucking Steel too. Yeah. Come on, these are the movies we want, not fucking our man. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Thoughts on Napoleon Dynamite and Super Bad? I like Super Bad, but I don't like Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, Napoleon Dynamite's it's okay, it's good. Um, Super Mad, the classic. It's one I like that movie. It's a funny one. I remember hearing that Jay Vader's Last of Us. I remember hearing that Jay hates. I don't hate the Last of Us. You said it was overrated. I said, uh, and like even I made a whole video about it. I said I liked a lot of elements, but I also hated a lot of elements. I'm in the middle on it. I don't Let's talk spoilers. I mean, I haven't played the game, but I've seen all the big scenes. I obviously saw Joel's death. That was that. I think. Why people hate this game so much is because of one decision, killing off Joel. But I think the reason why they killed off Joel is it made sense, right? Because of all the bad shit he did in the first game. Like, <clears throat> I know he he did a lot of bad stuff. And a lot of people hated the decision because that character meant so much to them in the first game. So I, I thought... Know. See, I thought of a better idea they could have went with the story. I thought... This would have been cool to do. I would have made Abby and Joel like a partners in the whole game, like because Abby saves Joel's life, and that's when she finds out who he is and she kills him. If Abby was with Joel the whole game and they helped each other, and then the twist was Joel's the one that killed her dad, and then she has to make a decision whether to kill him or not, and maybe she spares him or something or doesn't spare him. That would have been more interesting, but because they kill him so early in the game, it was, I, I didn't like that very much. But another controversial decision people hated was Ellie not killing Abby. But I, know, oh, I wanted it so bad. <laughs> That's something I, I want to do. Like, made, kill her. <laughs> I know Cody made a good point. That Abby, yeah, she killed Joel, but she took away a moment from Ellie that she didn't get the time she wanted to make amends with Joel, obviously, because Joel lied to her for many years and it feels hurt. She was trying to rebuild that relationship with Joel. But I think it was her like accepting her or something apology, whatever. But I will admit I love Ellie in the game. I think she's great. Personally, okay, I'm just saying this. I'm not an Abby fan and this has got nothing to do with her killing Joel. I just don't find her interesting. I just don't think she's that yeah, interesting. Her, yeah, they made her a playable character in certain instances I saw. Like, they, they had you playing as Abby trying to kill, hurt our heroes like Ellie. Mm -hmm. Like, that's I, fucking when stupid. I, when what? I was playing as Abby, I was getting kind of bored. <laughs> when like, I went back to Ellie, like I was and, having fun. Yeah, there was a scene where you're playing as Abby fighting against Ellie. Like, I don't want to punch Ellie. Like, I want to yeah. play yeah, I have, like, I'm 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 middle with that game. So yeah, yeah. Marge Gray, <laughs> Gray <laughs> Pierce Simpson. Um, yep. Hold on. Let's see. Here we go. I meant from the comments. Do you like the band Gorillas? Oh, I don't know the band. Sorry. <laughs> I'm not a rock band expert. Just so you know. Sorry. Man. Oh, keep the change, you filthy animal. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. And I Last Airbender on Titan. That'd be interesting. Oh, uh, I actually liked Jumper when I was younger. It's, yeah, it's not great, but, you know. What animals give you nightmares? <laughs> um, Interesting. Are you scared of any animals or any bugs or anything? Probably, you... probably spiders. Spiders? Yeah. I don't like snakes. I think snakes are pretty creepy and scary. Why did it have to be snakes? Yeah, I'm like an age on snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Did or you... did you get terrified when Jafar turned into that massive snake? How snake-like I can be. Here we go. Here we go. Family Guy or Simpsons? Here we go. Family Guy. I love Family Guy, but I have to go Simpsons. I gotta do it, man. I have Family to do it. Guy. Yeah, I like the actor who's playing Hawkman. Elvis Hodge, that's from One Night in Miami. He played uh, James Brown, I think. Jim Brown. Yeah, Jim Brown. Yeah, I like the scene where you see Cyborg's past. That's, yeah, that's another thing. 
They gave him a character. <laughs> why, do, uh, why does Joss Whedon hate Ray Fisher so much? Like, they made Cyborg the heart and soul of the Snyder Cut. Like, his whole backstory with his mom, his dad. Like, they made that so interesting in the Snyder Cut. Like, um, uh, Miles Dyson <laughs> from uh, Terminator 2 plays the dad. He plays uh, Silas Stone. He was he just like a robotic character in the Whedon cut. Like, yeah. like his motivations for for his situation with Victor didn't make any sense. But in the Snyder cut, he's he was a working man. So he missed his son's football game. And so they had this hate towards one another. He feels responsible for the mom's death. Like, that was so interesting. Why the hell would you cut Cyborg's whole entire origin story out? Uh, in the Whedon version, Cyborg was a nobody. Aquaman was a nobody. And The Flash was annoying. <laughs> annoying. And, yeah. yeah, and they changed all of that. So, they, thank you. Yeah. I'd like to see the Red Hood movie. That'd be cool. The Red Hood is, yeah, is cool. cool. The Red Hood's a cool character. Oh, wait, hold on. I lost my spot. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm skipping through because, you know, time. I want to see Optim an Optimus Prime movie. Yeah, I think that would be cool, actually. I am Optimus Prime. Honestly, um, you know, it would be kind of cool if they made, like, a villain movie, like a Starscream movie. That'd be kind of sweet. Put Optimus Prime back as a villain. That'd be awesome. That'd be kind of cool. Autobots, I will destroy you. Roll Save up. Him by, him by Ryan or Hacksaw Ridge. I, I gotta go save a private Ryan. I still think it's the best war movie, the second best war movie for them. Hello, Chris. Hi, Chris. I don't think the sequel of Pets is a Toy Story ripoff. Mm, it yeah. kind of is. I think it kind of is. Yeah. It kind of is. Yeah. There are four points in that movie, man. Uh, big Dog comes in like a Buzz Lightyear. Um, they're trying to save uh, Max the dog, like very reminiscent of Toy Story. The only modern pop singer I like is Selena Gomez. I actually don't hate Selena Gomez, actually. Uh, I don't... I wouldn't say I listen to her music, but I actually don't hate her. She's uh, actually a kind of okay actress, too, so I actually don't care. I hate... I dislike a lot of the Disney pop girls. Like, I don't like Demi Lovato. I don't like, like Hilary Duff, and I don't like... Uh, Amanda Bynes. I actually like Lindsay Lohan because she did a lot of movies I liked, like Parent Trap and Mean Girls. But you, uh, you clarified this: the only Disney Channel actress star that has made it is Zendaya. So yeah, but Selena Gomez, I don't hate her. I wouldn't say I'm a fan, but I don't dislike Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm. I think Abby will fighting Abby was such a bad decision. Yeah. Jay, why do you hate the movie Are We There Yet? I don't hate it. I just don't think it's that funny. And it's basically just... I don't like Are We There Yet. I really enjoy that movie. I don't I, know. Just, uh, just not for me. It's not my kind of... It's not, my, <laughs> it's not my thing. I start to watch TV series 24. Oh, yeah. It's on Disney Plus now. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen it. Uh, my my brother watches that stuff. Uh, I haven't seen it, though. Uh-huh. Uh, what are your theories for Cobra Kai Season 4? Uh... I think Johnny and Daniel, they're not going to get along because even though they're combining their dojos together to stop Crease, uh, there's going to be some tension. You haven't watched Cobra Kai. I haven't watched it yet. Uh, do you guys like the movie Snakes on a Plane? <laughs> I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. plane. It's a classic uh, Sam Jackson movie. It's a silly movie. I I don't know how you how to how do you take I don't know. As a as a movie, it's stupid, but uh, really it's not it's not meant to be silly. It's a, one of the greatest Taco Bell movies of all time. <laughs> um I think most of musicals, rom coms, Christmas movies, dogs movies, slasher movies are overrated. I mean Joyce Hey, there's a lot of great music. Christmas movies? What? Uh, I love Christmas. I movies. love Christmas movies. It's a Wonderful Life, Elf, Die Hard, So Home Alone. Every movie of 2010, Toy Story 3 or Inception? Inception. Uh, yeah, Inception. Toy Story 3 is up there. Yeah. Timberlake or Bieber? Timberlake. Uh, Timberlake. I'm, can I'm Canadian. That doesn't mean I like Bieber. Though. I don't like the Beavers. No, I don't. <laughs> um. 
I like small soldiers more than Toy Story. Small soldiers? That's a bold choice. Interesting. Uh, my favorite character from Matrix is Neo because he is the one. The one. Mm. The one. I know Kung Fu. Agent Smith. <laughs> what? Uh, I found both of your angry reviews of the Emoji movie very well, funny. My favorite review of yours, yeah. The hey, for a second, Ryan, this review is going to contain what more. What you said that I was laughing my ass off with? I'd rather get throat fucked a dozen times than watch this movie again. <laughs> I'd rather set my ass on or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the one that a lot of people liked. It was like, I'm like, you know, a lot of kid, a lot of parents send their kids to juvie. Just make them watch the Emoji movie. Oh, it's yeah. worse than juvie. <laughs> worse than juvie. <laughs> And then people were like, that's the quote of the day. Worse than Juvie. <laughs> a lot of people are saying, put that on the Blu-ray of the Emoji Movie. Worse than Juvie. Now, our, reviews, <laughs> our reviews of the Emoji Movie had so much cursing. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fucking motherfucking shit fuck? <laughs> Beverly Hills Chihuahua. That is a stupid movie. <laughs> haven't seen it. <laughs> I think that original Superman movie is better than Man of Steel. I agree. Yeah. I agree. No. I agree. Man of Steel is yes. better. Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Man of Steel. Man of Steel. I'm probably opinion. Johnny Hart is not. It is a Christmas it movie. It is a Christmas movie. Yes, it well, is. Papa doesn't think it's a Christmas movie. It is. It is. It is, a, it is the greatest Christmas movie ever made. It is a Christmas movie. It's, yeah. I will take that to the grave with me. It is a Christmas movie. Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. <laughs> Yippee ki yay, melon farmer. <laughs> <laughs> I think Norm of the North is worse than the Emoji movie. Uh, 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 the, uh, Norm of the North. Oh, my God. It's so hard to compare because, like, what's worse? A twerking polar bear or poop emoji? Like, what, what's worse, cat shit or dog shit? Like, what's like, the most shit? <laughs> There we go. Infinity War or Endgame. Like that's that's like, you know. This is like I mean both are incredible. I mean I go you, endgame, but if you I love Infinity both. War, there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm endgame. Uh, uh, Die Hard is set at Christmas, which means exactly. It yeah, means it's if, a Christmas movie. if a movie story yeah, if a movie is. story is set on Christmas, it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. Shazam is also a Christmas movie. Iron Man 3 is also a Christmas movie. Yes, it is. How is it a Christmas movie? It's a goofy ad that's it's regardless. It's on Christmas. Yeah, it's a goofy it's ad. Christmas merchandise. It has to be set on Christmas. We listen to R&B music. I like Usher. You know, yeah, yeah. Woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little John. If Chris Farley completed his voice work for Shrek, what would his and Mike Myers' careers be like? You know, interesting. Uh... I don't know if he could do it like Mike Myers did it. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an opinion on this. I'm a Superman fan, and I love Man of Steel. There's nothing wrong with Man of Steel. There's nothing wrong with Man of Steel, just Superman. Unpopular opinion, Hans Zimmer's score is better than John Williams' score. (laughs) You want to go? Let's step outside. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you're like you're like Batman in the nightmare scene. Be, be very careful with the next thing you say. <laughs> That's not very careful. <laughs> what? Uh, whoa! Isn't that not a Christmas movie? It's a Christmas it's movie. A Christmas movie. <laughs> it's a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. When did this become a debate? It's not a debate. <laughs> it's a Christmas movie. Favorite King Kong movie? Mine's the 1933 one. Yeah, the 1933 one. At least it's shorter. It gets right to the point. At least I don't have to wait 30, three hours and seven minutes for Colin to get back to New York. I think Illumination Entertainment is underrated. No joke. That's cool, but I don't think so. I respect your opinion, but I, I respect it. I can't stand it. Adam Taylor and Uncut Gems. I disagree. <laughs> Hank Hill or Homer Simpson? I love both by Homer. I'll go with Homer since it's your profile. Homer no. Simpson. There are two types of people in this world. People who think Tired is Christmas <laughs> movie and people who are delusional. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. 
Well, can you ban him? Is there an option ban him? Oh shit! Like, can can you ban this dude? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wow! Don't kill me, Ryan. Straight to the man that's my favorite film of all time. Oh, man. wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay. Oh, I, he got us. I was about to say. Okay, okay. I was about to say. I prefer Christopher Reeve. Man, uh, Christopher Reeve. Man, steals good. Way too, way too goddamn long. Christopher Reeve is a better Superman. I disagree. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> What are your thoughts on the singer Chris Brown? Interesting question. Um, uh, I know he's done some questionable things personally. Uh, yeah. uh, as a singer, I haven't really cared too much about his songs. So yeah, me neither. There you go. Over oh, or say. to quote uh, Ian Malcolm, and uh, uh, there it is. There it is. Uh, 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 um, you do a on your dinosaur tour, uh, you planning on talk about pop music <laughs> in your uh, Q and A? <laughs> that is one big pile of shit. Yeah, that is one big pile. Ooh, okay. Here. Sony Animation or Blue Sky? Blue Sky. Blue Sky did. Uh, Disney did shut down Blue Sky, unfortunately. So, Blue Sky, man. I would say. They, I mean, Sony Animation only made Spider Verse. That's like the only a really good movie. I know. Um, yeah. Fuck it, yeah, Blue Sky. I'm like, I like into yeah, Spider Man. Spider Verse. It's their only really good movie. Right. Watching Rango now. I don't like Rango. I think it's overrated. Not a fan. Yeah, Rango's overrated. I agree. Not That's a fan of it. Animated. I love Johnny Depp. <laughs> I love Gore Verbinski as a director, like the Pirates films, but I just don't like that. Kung Fu Panda Two should have won. Um. Yeah. Oh shit! I lost my spot. I'm sorry. Look what you made me do, Ryan. <laughs> oh, oh, Gladiator has one of the greatest movie endings of all time. That is a good ending. I like. I love Gladiator. Yeah. Are you yeah. not entertained? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this why you're here? Christmas are about celebrating the holidays of Christmas, not just taking place at time. Okay. Let me say this. Let, Let me say. say Okay. It's a Wonderful Life is the greatest Christmas movie ever made. And it's only right. Christmas in the last 20 minutes. And yeah. that's considered a Christmas movie. Yeah. And it's not it's even a, about Christmas. It's a Wonderful Life's not even a Christmas movie until the last 20 minutes. It's yeah. about George Bailey and his yeah. life. And, and the movie's it. not even about the holiday season. It's about how George Bailey's life affects everybody else. And if he didn't exist, everyone's lives would be ruined. That's the point the of it. The movie ends life. with him in Christmas time. Yeah. So if that's a Christmas movie, Dyer is a Christmas movie too. It is, yeah. It's about John McClane going to visit his wife on Christmas Eve at the yeah. Nakatomi Plaza. They're having a Christmas party and terrorists break in on yeah. Christmas Eve. It's a Christmas movie. It doesn't have to have people celebrating the holiday season, the whole movie, yeah. for it to be a Christmas movie. It has to be set on Christmas Eve or Christmas. Like the movie Black Christmas, just because it is called Black Christmas, but it's not about celebrating Christmas. It's just about a serial killer. <laughs> Iron Man 3 is a Christmas movie, too. Tony Stark getting blown up by the Mandarin, his house, and finding out it's not the Mandarin. Everything, all that takes place on Christmas. So It's a Christmas movie. Mm -hmm. Do you think John Fravo should handle Star Wars instead? Yes. Yeah. Even though yes. Kathleen Kennedy did get reset. What he's done with Mandalorian proves that. Yes. Or Kevin Feige. He should just own everything. Kevin yes. Feige. Hmm. Empire Strikes Back is the only Star Wars movie that I love. Interesting. Interesting. It is the best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thoughts on Unfaithful. The Diane Lane movie? It's not that great. I, don't I like yeah. I like most pop music. Not all of it. Um, I love 80s pop. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I love it. that's the most stuff you hear like Guardian, Guardians of the Galaxy and shit. For sure, Michael Jackson, all that eats pop. Michael Jackson, King of Pop, man. King of Pop. <laughs> Thoughts on JJ Abrams Superman reboot? I freaking stupid. No. No. I want to go a black Superman route. I mean, no Henry Cavill. 
I, they brought a super. We already have a Superman. Like, why? I don't want another I one. Where's the Man of Steel too? We already but, got one. I don't want another one. I'm sorry. Yeah. Great for the Dark Knight trilogy as a whole. It's a ten out of ten. Like plus. as a whole, a plus 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 yeah, as a whole. And that's your Dark Knight Rises. I know people complain the issue. I like it too. It's not great, but I still enjoy it a lot. Yeah. Uh, what what's your reaction if Michael Bay is directing an MC movie? Oh boy! <laughs> no God, please no no! Michael not in the office. <laughs> what are your top five anime movies? As um, okay, um, I'll just say randomly: Spirit Away. Uh, Spirit Away is one of my favorites. Fantasia, Beauty and the Beast, uh, Your Name, and. Uh, <laughs> Maybe like Up or Iron Giant, something like that. So yeah, those are some of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, the first Lion King, Toy Story, the first one. Toy Story mm -hmm. 3, uh, Iron Giant, that would be up there. Uh, Spider-Verse, Incredible. Yeah. Well, all those would be up there for sure. Brian Cranston as Doctor Doom. Oh, I'd be totally down for that. That'd be cool. Gremlins is a Christmas movie, too. Yeah, it is. It is, Gremlins, yeah. Gremlins is a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. Well, Dyer doesn't become a Christmas movie at any point in the movie. Yes, it is. It takes place during Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Christmas Eve, man. Uh, I hate Back to the Future. Hey, uh, thank uh, God you said April Fool's. He's got a poster behind him. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bothered your opinion. I prefer Indiana Jones over Star Wars. Eh, that's fine. Like uh, they're both cool. Indiana Jones is a great series. Yeah, uh, Indiana Jones is great, and I get it because Star Wars is very like it has great, great stuff Star and Wars. bad stuff, and great stuff and bad stuff. So I understand. Star Wars is a very popular series. It means a lot to people. So a lot of people could say it's overrated or it's not their series. Yeah. Whatever's your series, it's fine. I'm more yeah. Star Wars. Now. Yeah. I hate the movie Doom. A lot of people do. J.J. <laughs> Abrams is a terrible di director. He can't do Superman justice. Uh, I agree with he can't do Superman. I agree with that. I wouldn't call him a terrible director, but I agree he can't do Superman. I agree with that. I mean, he did Star Trek well. He brought Star Wars yeah. for movie back to life. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like with J.J., he needs a lot of help and because with Star Wars, even Star Wars, he had Lawrence Kasdan to come back, and he needs a lot of help with doing that. And so, it felt like it was directed by a committee, not J.J. Abrams. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't think he can do it. So. The Abram cut. Oh, my God. I don't think he can do uh, a Superman movie for me. Jar Jar Banks is the Grim Reaper of the franchise. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Jar Jar. <laughs> Grade for oh god, those are awful. Films. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, the first one I only saw the first one. Oh, what a piece of crap! I movies, it. I hated it, even as a kid. I hated it. Um, hold on a sec. Sorry, 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 sorry. Rating for Christmas Vacation. I love the I love these movies. Uh, the only one I don't like is the new one, that stupid vacation one in 2015. But I love all of, I love Vegas Vacation, I love Christmas Vacation, Vacation, even European Vacation. I love these movies, they're just really fun. Christmas Vacation is like one of my favorites, though. I love it. It's like a nine out of ten. Vegas is underrated, it's a seven out of ten. Both very funny films. Yeah, I haven't seen either of them. Uh, they're funny, really funny films. Uh <laughs> that new one, that the 2015 one was. I so, heard that one was awful. Uh, it's Ed awful. Helm. Yeah. Have you seen Narcos? I haven't. I heard it was amazing, though. I've not seen it, though. No. Isn't Pedro Pascal in it? Yeah. yeah. Do you think the Oscars need to create a voice acting here? That'd be cool. I yeah. Like that. I think they sweet. Yeah. And a motion capture. Like, combine that both motion capture, voice performance. So, not much, man. Very Amy Adams movie. Um, Arrival. Yeah. Arrival. Yeah. Hey, Jay, do you still like an the anime Inuyasha? Yeah, I grew up with that. So, yeah. Unpopular opinions. The U.S. is better than Canada. Yeah. <laughs> USA. USA. From the, the old man in Drake and Josh. You want to say? You want to How dare you talk about my country like that? <laughs> 
I think he sucks. Yeah, some people don't like him. Favorite Chris Stuckman hilari hilariosity bad review. We've done this before, haven't we? I think we've I, had this, we've had this question before. Dragon Ball Evolution. The Dragon Ball Evolution one. That's his best. My favorite anime movies: uh, Aladdin, Wall-E, Prince of Monoki, Spy Rent the Prince of Egypt. All great films. Great films. All great films. I haven't seen the Prince of Egypt though. Oh, great one. Would the Cat in the Hat movie be a great movie while well, being high? <laughs> yeah. Probably. It'd probably be a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> probably a lot better. Uh, Abram will destroy mm, like he did Star Wars. Well, uh, Ross weed in effect. Yeah. I think Smurfs 2 is better than the first. Oh, it's not saying much. <laughs> I didn't care to see either of them. So, What were you going to say, Ryan? Oh, I said... It, his style just doesn't fit with DC. JJ Abrams doesn't scream DC to me. Um, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Do you consider Black Swan to be a horror film? No, psychological thriller. Yeah, no, not a horror film. Favorite book? Uh, best book is Half Blood Prince, Harry Potter. Great book. Uh, and I like Matthew McConaughey's new book, Green Lights. Yeah, I'd probably say Prisoner of Azkaban for Harry Potter. That's my favorite book. Original Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z Kai. Original. Fuck yeah, man. Uh, who would who who could be a reverse Flash in the in the Flashpoint movie? Anthony Starr, Wilson Berthold, Bullseye, and Jared Who could be, oh, who would you want to be as reverse Flash? As the Miller Flash film, who could play reverse Flash? Who would be a good choice? I think Elliot from Movie Files made a good casting choice. I, I think uh, James McAvoy. I like because you know uh, Andy mm. Mucci, Andy Muschietti is directing it. He did it obviously, and James. I, yeah. I like James McAvoy. Play a role. Have you ever been scared of Chucky? No, Chucky's more funny. <laughs> no, Ch Chucky seems funny. Opinion on Jesse? Never watched the show. Did you ever watch that? No, I don't have an opinion on. I hate today's rap music. I do too. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, it's so bad. <laughs> Favorite Breaking Bad character, Jesse and Walter. I like Hank. I do like Hank. I like Saul too, but dude, you gotta watch Better Call Saul, bro. Because yeah. Mike, Mike Ermintrout, he's the fucking best character in the whole series. He's the best part of Better Call Saul, and he's one of my favorites in in uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah, I gotta go, Mike. I've said this before, I'm not a South Park guy, but I have watched an episode about the episode after 9-11 about the anthrax. It's a very funny episode of South Park. But yeah, I don't watch South Park though. Yeah. Uh, what three what three roles could Daniel Craig do in the MCU? What three roles could he do? Or in the DCU? Uh, hmm. MCU, I could see him in the I can see him as Doctor Doom. I can see him as Doctor yeah, Doom. In the Fantastic Four, I could see him play Doctor Doom. I can um, see him as a Doctor Doom. Um, uh, I can see him do like a voice work as like Galactus or something. Or him in Blade. I can see him in fucking Guardians Three. <laughs> I like these choices too. I could see Ben Foster or Dan Stevens pull off a reverse slash. I like both actors, so possibly. Okay. As he moves, yeah, he's directing an Attack on Titan movie. Interesting. I, I, I'd i watch that. Cool. Have you seen Criminal Minds? My sister watches Criminal Minds, but I don't watch Me. Criminal Minds. No. Me neither. I'm not into the crime shows like that. Uh, they're just too cliched for me. Oh, we got Mick Rock here. What's going on, buddy? Hello. Uh, thoughts on Hercules? and I actually watch both these shows. These are 90s shows, and they're very silly shows. I've watched these, though. Uh <laughs> They're not amazing. <laughs> uh, what was high school like back in 2010 when you graduated? Yeah, interesting. Man. High school. What was yeah. high school like for you, Ryan? Uh, it was high school. <laughs> it was high school? <laughs> I just remember band for the most part. That was definitely the best part in yeah. 2014 when I graduated. Were you part of a clique? The, the nerds, the, ga the, band, the band geeks. That was the clique. The cliques? Yeah. I was the drama club. I, I was part of the drama club. I love theater. Yeah, I was a band geek. I was part of drama club too. Uh, all the music and after school activity stuff. Oh, hard one. Harrison Ford or Tom Hanks? 
Oh, both iconic. Mm. I'm going to go Harrison Ford. I'm going to go Harrison Ford. I'm going to go Tom Hanks just slightly. Yeah. Favorite Mario Kart game. Mario Kart 8. Great game. Yeah, Mario Kart 7. What do you think is the best year for movies? Here's 1999. 1982. 1982 is the best year. 2014. 2014. Very Nicholas Cage movie, uh, Leaving Las Vegas is a good one. Uh, adaptation. Oh, that's a good one too, man. Yeah, that's a great one. Charlie Kaufman. Yeah, I love South Park. The South Park movie, I've seen that. That's a funny movie. Mm-hmm. Actually. Uh, how do you think Spire? Uh, how do you think Nick Cage? Have you seen Wooly's Wonderland? No, I haven't seen it yet. No. Oh, check it out. Probably yeah. the best I've seen from Nicholas Cage. No, <laughs> he doesn't say a damn word. Do you think Ben Kingsley should have been Jafar in Guy Ritchie's? He probably would have done a better job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he would have been way better than that dude. I don't know out his name. <laughs> There's CW show. I really don't like a lot of those shows. I <laughs> heard Superman and Lois is good. I heard it was too. I really did. Uh, I liked Arrow the first three seasons, then I hated it. I liked uh, Tyler. No, I thought, never mind. I was thinking Brandon Rouse, but no, I haven't seen... I, I ch- I've watched Supergirl the first bit, but it kind of bored me. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I guess I guess I go Smallville because I grew up with that, but I don't know. Have you ever played Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare? No, I have played the first two Red Deads, but I've not played Undead Nightmare. Though. Yeah, Cody hasn't played it either. Um, I think Pokemon is overrated. April Fools. Uh, it's, it's an April Fools. Joke. Okay, I'm with you. I don't like Pokemon oh. either. I'm yeah, I'm not into Pokemon either. Uh, I just, I'm not, I don't know. Thoughts on The Lost World? 1925? Five. I, thought they, they ta- I thought they were talking about Jurassic Park. <laughs> I thought they were talking about Jurassic Park. <laughs> well, back in the day, I haven't seen it. <laughs> okay, hey, this is a hard question right here. Best year for animated films? Jeez, man. That's a hard question, actually. Hmm. 2014 had the Lego movie, Big Hero 6. Mm. Um, Hatcher and Dragon 2. Hatcher and Dragon. I'm going to go 2014 again, man. That was like the best year for movies. Come on. I'm going to go. 2012 was good, too. Uh, I had uh, Paranorman, Wreck It Ralph, Wreck-It Rise Ralph. of the Guardians, Frank and Weenie, and then somehow Brave beat them all. <laughs> what? Brave? What the fuck? It, oh, beat, yeah. it beat Wreck It Ralph and it beat Paranorman. How? Who's Brave better than those? Pixar, the, the Pixar, <laughs> and I feel like Leica just gets shit on a lot because the, the, yeah, it gets the out. most underrated studio. Fucking yeah. come on. <laughs> um, what's your f- least favorite aspect of your favorite movie? Okay, so I'm like my least favorite thing in Blade Runner. All right, all right, I'm up for this challenge. Okay, you gotta do it too. Yeah. You have to do this too with Empire Strikes Back. Least favorite thing in your favorite movie. Uh, I guess my least favorite thing in the original Blade Runner is probably, um, I would say, probably J.F. Sebastian. I think he's kind of a boring-ass character. So, yeah. All right, Ryan, what's your least favorite thing about Empire Strikes Back? Um, either have C-3PO do more stuff than he was given, Um. Or, or having Boba Fett, more, having Boba Fett do more. Yeah, in the movie. Most underrated director right now, Denis Villeneuve. I guess maybe either John Lee Hancock or uh, the guy that did uh, the accounting, Gavin O'Connor. There we go, Gavin O'Connor. Uh, do you guys love Batman since you guys were kids? Yes, I've been loving Batman since I've been a child. Oh yeah. See, look, Ryan, we're at 29 now, like, and we're almost done. <laughs> this is bullshit. Yeah, I, I got to wrap this up soon. Yeah, yeah, all right. We're going to wrap up in the next couple minutes, guys, so you better hurry up and throw your questions in there. Sure. Love Veronica Mars, but when they brought it back, that was so stupid. See, now we're getting questions now. This is Where were you guys an hour ago? <laughs> <laughs> they were performing us, man. All right, hold on a sec. I lost my spot. I keep doing this. StreamYard needs to work on this and make it a little easier. <laughs> Thoughts on Platoon? Great movie. Really good movie. Who is your least favorite Disney villain? Um, oh, awful. 
<laughs> Who? Oh, he said Radcliffe from Pocahontas. He was mm -hmm. really bad. Probably the villain think... from Mulan. I don't remember anything about him. Mm. I'm trying to think if there's um, a, a particular villain I can't stand. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, the one from Mulan's pretty shitty. <laughs> Favorite you character, the lead guy. He's hilarious. Uh, what are the th three best months in your opinion? August, it's my birthday. Yeah, December, December, Christmas, December, October, Halloween. December, August, and December, August. August is my birthday. And July. Best Adam McKay movie. Uh, big, oh, Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah Step, Brothers. Step Brothers. I'll go with Step Brothers. Great for American Psycho. 8 out of 10. Uh, hey. What's Ryan's favorite sport? Uh, football. Yeah, he, he agrees with you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jay, my thoughts have changed on Red 2 It's a masterpiece. Yes! You hear that, Ryan? <laughs> I just said you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> There's one Sean Sans Lambs that kind of bugs me. Bugs me. Oh, man, he bugs me. Buffalo Bill. Um, <clears throat> hold on. I don't see if there's a good one in here. Most underrated director is James Gunn. I think we answered this one. I think Gavin O'Connor. How would you rate The Revenant? Revenant's pretty good. It's like a 7.5. I'd probably say a B plus. Have you ever played the Spider-Man games based on Sam Raimi films? Yes, I have. They're fun. Spider-Man 2, my favorite uh, GameCube game ever. Best streaming service and the worst. Uh, the best? Uh, I yeah. actually might. i go Disney Plus. I think Disney Plus will catch it soon, but I'll still go with Netflix for now. Worst? Um, worst? Uh, I don't have Peacock, so I'll say a one I have. Uh, probably Paramount Plus. There really isn't much of anything on there right now. So yeah, the worst for me. I don't know yet. Apple TV Plus hasn't had a lot yet, but they have some okay stuff. See you, buddy. SJWs need to stop. They'll ruin the world. Damn fucking right they would. Amen to that, buddy. Now they're hitting Dragon Ball Z though. What's next? Are they going to hit Spongebob or Family Guy next? Uh, the funny thing is they don't know what they're talking about because they're attacking things for no reasons. There's not enough strong female characters in Spongebob. There's Sandy. Sandy. She's a great character. This is fun. She's hilarious. Favorite Tom Cruise movie. Uh, ooh, collateral's a good pick. Um, collateral, pretty great. Uh, risky fallout. business. It's impossible fallout. Like All are great. Favorite type of pie. Apple chocolate, chocolate cream pie. Ryan, sing with me. It's a wonderful day for pie. For pie. pie. It's nothing better than Did I. <laughs> a family guy. <laughs> it's a wonderful day <laughs> for pie. <laughs> oh, nice and nice poison apple with pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably opinion. Can we call it favorite? Interesting favorite. Wow! Is that I actually thing? I don't hate King of the Crystal Skull. I don't. Is that a I, don't. Joke? <laughs> I don't hate King. Of the, I don't. It's not. It's not the best, but I don't it's hate it. Pleasure. It's definitely a guilty pleasure. Favorite ice cream: cookies and cream. That's also my favorite. Cookies. Yeah. And cream. <laughs> so good. So good, guys. <laughs> All right, I got to head out soon. Okay, all right. I'm probably opinion. I love Hulu, Jay. Interesting. Yeah. That's a 9.5. It was. I'm gone. Are you gone? <laughs> I'm gone. What do you think but of the little, the little things? Eh. I enjoyed it more than the, the average viewer. Did you go to college, Jay? Yeah, I went to college twice. Yeah. Right, I took general and science, and I took business. <laughs> you went to college. <laughs> Most annoying song ever to listen to. It's Friday. 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 Down on Friday. Fucking kill me, me now. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Yeah, definitely that. <laughs> Please don't sing that stupid pie song. I love the pie song. The pie song's great. <laughs> Weird question, but what's your favorite Disney princess? Belle. Belle's my favorite. Who did I say was my... Oh, uh, Mulan. Mulan's my favorite. All right, guys, we're going to head. All right. 
All right, Ryan, end it off for me. I'm gone. Bye, bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for having me, Jay. Uh, you know where to find me, Ryan. They don't know where to find you. Where are you? Where do you live? What's your address? What's your phone oh, number? Email I'm address. In- Give it all right here. Oh, oh my God. Um, Ryan O'Toole, type that in on YouTube. You'll either find a female golfer or Ryan O'Toole, a guy who talks about movies. And uh, This song's annoying, too. Baby shark, do 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 do. Oh Baby shark, mama shark, do 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 do. Um, you could. Um, uh, I will be uploading my MonsterVerse ranking very soon. And uh, yeah, Jay, thanks for having me on, man. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Sing with me. It's a wonderful day for pie. pie. <laughs>